Hey guys, my name is Hydra, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use manual with clutch transmission in Forza Horizon 4. So of course, first thing you need to do is go to difficulty settings and turn your shifting to manual with clutch. A reason you might want to actually use it is instead of 55% for automatic or 60% with manual, you get an additional 10 or 5% CR every time you complete a race. Also, it's more of a simulation feel in my opinion. So once you've done that, you're going to want to change your control settings, which will help you tremendously. The way I have mine set up, the only things I changed is my e-brake to my left bumper, which is what your clutch normally is set to. However, I find it a little difficult to hit the bumper, gear up, gear down, at the exact same time as it uses two different hands. Then I also changed my map to LS button since we can no longer pull our map up instantly while we are in manual with clutch or even manual transmission so we can still pull up our map very quickly. You're going to want to go down to clutch and I'll set that to your A button. That makes it the easiest since we can hit A and B or A and X to shift up or down a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more consistent. So, when using clutch, just like regular manual, listen to your engine so you know when you need to shift up or shift down. If you hold your clutch in while stationary and give it gas, this is what will happen. So let's go ahead and start rolling. And this is, what's, this is how you do it. You just listen to your engine. Press A and press B at the exact same time, or hold A and press B to do it. If you do not hold A, and you go in first person, you can actually hear the three gears grind. This is what it sounds like. And that will actually damage your transmission. Another cool feature of using manual clutch is if you hold your clutch while moving, you will coast along and not really hear your engine. It's very great for cinematic shots. And like I said before, it gives a more of a simulation feeling to driving. You can get some better gear timing if you are really good and consistent. And you will also be able to get a little bit of a better launch if you do if you do it properly. But anyway guys, if you found that helpful or informative, please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one!